Good morning, cellmates. Um, it's Jilly Cube here from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, doing a pour for you today. This particular painting that I did this yesterday, I'm trying to perfect a certain look, whereas the cells don't look all nicely in circles. I actually want them to spread. I want them to go um, create a whole another life within the canvas. So I have purposely mixed up my paints really um, thin because I did this look uh, quite probably a year ago and then I looked back on some of the work I've done and I just really love the cells that stretch out, create this lovely effect. And what I realised in over the time, I've thickened up my paint as I've uh, made pour, you know, paint and pouring medium. And I have ch changed paints from last year. I was using most the global, and now I use basically all of Montmartre, or I use the Boom Gel stain. Um, but anyway, the thing that I'm trying to achieve today is kind of this look because I've got so many. Um, customers that want this kind of look um, in different colors so I'm going to go for that again um, these are 40 by 50, 40 by 50 centimeter canvases I have mixed my pouring medium in the same way they're all uh, Montmartre studio acrylics I have customized some colors where I like adding and taking away a bit of this and that um, and I will be doing another video on just custom colours. Um, my pouring medium is the 70% uh, clear PVA and 30% I add warm water to it and give it a good shake and then leave it before I mix it with my paints. Each particular paint colour requires a different amount of pouring medium. This was the uh, Montmartre Crimson, Crimson, and I added some of the phalo blue, which was the dark blue. I just wanted a, a little bit different color than the crimson. Um, so I just darkened it with the phalo blue. Um, this particular one, I started with the burnt umber and I added gold to it. And as you notice, look, there's no trace the, the spoon, oh, normally it falls down. Um, there's no, there's not really a trace left in your paint. So it's quite thin, but it's still thick enough to, to obviously um, cling to the canvas and give it some body. Otherwise, you know, it would just be a sort of really watery color. So it has to have some body in it, but it's a lot thinner than I would normally mix. These are the new, Montmartre colours that I've been doing lots of different pour combinations with. Now I'm getting the lovely gold and the silver. So I'm playing around with the golds and silvers. The gold, I added some white to my gold. Just wanted to dull it down a little bit. So I've got some white in my gold. And this one I did the opposite. I started with white, the brilliant white, and then I added gold. So it sort of took it this milky colour. So I love uh, customising colours and I love just different colour creations. So, 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 okay, I'm going to get going on this and then we'll just, I'll just explain as I go along for you. But all of my pouring medium recipe and how I mix my paint is in the description box below. I have links to beginners videos there. I have links to our online supplier in Australia, Cabriol Chevy Chic. Uh, if you're out of Australia, there's also links as far as I can find to Montmartre. Otherwise, if you're out of Australia, you'll probably find them on um, Amazon, Amazon. So, so I'm going to go, I think, I might not even use that crimson, but I've just mixed some colors up. And I'm going to go sort of the brownie and beiges on this one. 
They're very, they're boring to me, but so many people like them. A bit boring for me because I love colours so much. But even though I do appreciate um, them as a, as a piece of art when you finish, but just, it just takes my eye and excites me is colour. And that's um, probably not going to change. I don't know. So this is the burnt umber with the gold mixed into it. So if you're trying, I know lots of people ask me, well, what color was those? Because as they say, they're not very good with color and they want some help with it. So here you go, that's put the burnt umber in and added a load of gold. So it's basically covering the whole of my painting that one. tilt that about a little bit so yeah much thinner mix than I would normally do not worried if it doesn't cover the whole of the canvas for this one just just trying a different different color combinations in this particular technique that is far runnier to get the movement in it and to get those lovely effects so I'm not going to worry any more about covering that, that would be fine. Um, I'm going to go with the, this was the white and I put a blob of gold in. I put uh, two drops of Helmar silicon in all of these colours. So only two drops and if you look at how I mix my paints, I always try to uh, do mix my paints 24 hours before because I just uh, the reason for it, I just find that I personally have better results if I do that so this is now the gold that I put white in so yeah if you're just looking for color um, ideas you know on your colors then you know I, I can sort of uh, help a lot of people if they you know are not very good with color combinations and they want you know because the paint they might not want to do the same style I'm doing but what they want is to learn you know what was what was that color okay so so I'm going to put a bit of this custom I think I started with the Viridian and I added silver so it made it like a sheeny shiny Viridian um, and it's really good to have a go at just custom making some of your paints yourself just do it it's fun just make them in a cup if it's only one small cup you it's not really lost anything but it's kind of similar to the one I did yesterday, but I put a lot more of the skin tone in it. And um, I just realized that it just needed a different bit of a darker color underneath to pop through. So, 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 I just put, I had a little bit of uh, it left over here. I think I added, oh my goodness, I think this was, a mixture of the phalo blue and it had silver I know that I took the color down I may have even added gold I'm gonna do the custom colors in a video so I because I just mix them up and I'm in a little world of my own going along and not really thinking about it and then of course um, I get asked and, and the only way I can usually find is go through and back through my own videos to see what I did but just give it a gentle tilt don't get anxious about it just tilt it gently and because this is a far runnier mix than I would normally do it tilts quite easily but you've just got to keep in control that you don't lose all of your paint over the side but it's very thin mix so it's mostly boring medium I think because it's so thin um, just recenter it just rocking it backwards and forwards recenter your paint so you don't get your paint all sitting one particular area it's okay I have 
just run your fingers gently underneath the very bottom of it and if you haven't got any paint on the very uh, edges just run your fingers and use the paint off your fingers there's absolutely no worry about doing that it looks absolutely fine so don't stress over everything but what I found we've got the perfect time to stay home and create so stop home create some great art if you're only just beginning this is the beginning of your art journey watch uh, I've got lots of tutorials how to mix paints, different uh, brands of paints or styles of paint. So I've got plenty of videos there for anybody that is just starting. Now, I did mix the crimson up because I thought of all things I'm going to do a crimson. I might just do a teeny weeny uh, test. If not, I'm going to go with the deep chocolate. So I just try a very, very thin layer. That's probably way too much. I want a thin layer because in that piece of work that I showed you, if you have a very thin layer of swipe, you won't even, your swipe colour won't take over the whole of your painting. It will just create a beautiful outline. Now this crimson, I would love to have gone even darker with it. So a real plum looking. I just want to add my heat gun to this to see if I like the crimson or I want to try the brown. Mmm, not sure about that. I think I might like the brown better. I'll just try this side and go over that little bit of crimson. Okay, I missed a bit. Don't stress over it. Just I'll just go back over it. That's my swifty swipe that I made. It's looking a bit weathered and worn now, so I really need to create myself a new one. All it is is using a spatula um, piece of soft plastic soft plastic file divider I'll cut them in different shapes I stick them on this way so that is the just the flat bit even though that's got really nasty now um, I just find them so much easier to control now what that's shown a perfect example of because I purposely made the mixture really thin see it's stretching out and then it will not keep these it'll continue stretching because it is thin mix i quite like that purple i just wish it was maybe a tad darker but no uh, i think well my husband's car i think i will continue with it but i'm gonna try and pour that into a little just want a little container so I don't go and dribble too much. Maybe I'll have to do it this way. So I'll just, I want a very thin line, walk the thin line over it and go from there. Hi darling. Hi. Just got guest appearance off my hubby, come in from his day's work. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just doing this very thin line. It's beer o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Are we after five here, darling? Yes, darling. Yes. <laughs> okay. Definitely after five in New Zealand. So. After five in New Zealand. Well, we're in Australia. <laughs> okay. So I've done this a really, really thin mix because I want it to be a little bit different and move around a bit more. You like it, dear? Mm-hmm. Pretty hot like you, mate. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. It's his birthday tomorrow, people. It's my hubby's birthday tomorrow. So, 
Yeah, we were going to go in our caravan and go camping, uh, well, in camping in the caravan for a few days, but because of the craziness happening in the whole world at the moment, um, we just thought we'd just stay stay put for a few days till we know what's going on and who's staying open and who's closing because we don't want to go halfway around Australia and find we got can't get any petrol to come back. So I'm fine. I'm just going to self-isolate and paint. <laughs> I'm going to create. Very good. Sounds like the plan, hey darling? Sounds good, darling. Okie doke. I will just give it a quick zip over with the Wonder Wand. This is just heating the paint up slowly. Whereas if you use a butane torch, you can burn the paint very quickly. So it is far safer and probably it's equally as good results as using the butane torch, but you're not burning your paint. Just heats it up nice and slow. Makes those cells pop. Okay, wow, look at that, pop, pop, pop. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna just leave that for a little while to uh, develop and I will get back to you guys and um, come back and show you what it looks like again in 20 minutes and I may very well uh, embellish it with the balloon. Okay guys, I'm probably back after about two hours. I am going to not do any more to it. I did um, do a few balloon kisses in it. It has gone exactly how I expected. It was really stretched out and that's, as I told you, that's what I was looking for. So it's looking pretty nice. I do like it. I'm not sure about so much of that uh, gold, burnt umber and gold. I probably could have used a lot less. But I do actually like the crimson, crimson swipe because it's basically disappeared. You can only see it in that one little area. So it's, um, I'm gonna leave it to dry and then I will post photos of it along at the end of this video. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, please keep safe, keep calm and keep creating. Bye for now.